So recently I had my first ever surgery, which as you'd expect was a really crazy experience. But why did I need surgery in the first place? So basically, I had not one, but two collapsed lungs, and at my age, that's almost impossible to happen. Here, I'll show you what it is real quick. This is your lung. Now it's collapsed. The worst part? There isn't really a cause for this to just happen, so it either happens randomly, or when you get into a fatal car crash. Now I am tall and very skinny, which sadly that does make the chances of your lung collapsing higher. But now let's get to the surgery part. You heard me say I had my lung collapse two times, meaning I had to get it treated twice. The first time I was rushed to the hospital where they put a drain inside of me to suck out all of the air so my lung could regenerate by itself. They kept me there for around a week and after that everything should be back to normal. Until it happened again. Not even two weeks after being out of the hospital, I got another collapsed lung. Though lucky for me, this one was smaller than the previous one and healed all by itself. So why did I get the surgery anyway? Basically, after your first collapsed lung, you have a 30% chance of getting another. And after the second one, you have a 60% chance of getting a third one. And so on. But if you do a surgery where they stick your lung to your pleura, it will get reduced to a 2% chance. So that's what I did. Before the surgery, they made me take the most disgusting medicine I've ever had in my life. So sadly I had to. The medicine would make me stop feeling hungry. Since when you undergo a surgery, you're not allowed to eat. You gotta make sure your body is completely empty. So after that, I just had to sit there and wait for the doctors to pick me up, which the feeling of that is really uncomfortable. Like at any given moment now, a bunch of doctors will be making holes and do all sorts of stuff in your body. And that's when it happened. Two doctors came into my room with a bed and they drove me to the operating room. I had never been more scared in my life. You'll feel more comfortable playing Bioshock than getting pushed into an operating room. But they put you under anesthesia anyway, so I didn't notice a thing. Until I woke up. I had all sorts of tubes, needles, wires in my body. It was crazy. Now for the next 7 days I had to stay in the hospital which was so boring. Like all the pain aside, I had nothing to do, I was so bored all day. Now lucky for me, my friends, my family, they would all come visit me regularly. And I had the chance to finish watching Better Call Saul since now I had the time. Either way it was painful, I could barely move and had a lot of trouble breathing. Until this day, I still do. It's now been 7 weeks since I've been out of the hospital and I still get pain and have trouble breathing very frequently. I've gone back to the hospital multiple times to check and every time everything was fine, but that doesn't change the fact that my recovery is extremely hard to deal with. But in the end, it's all going to be worth it because if I didn't take this surgery, I probably would have had another collapsed lung by now. Anyway, that's my experience with surgery. And since I'm now a sad teenager, you must subscribe to make me feel better. And thank you for watching, and goodbye.